Are you having a hard time with math? Need a little help? Well, you've came to the right place. Somebody help me with this math. Personalized math tutoring is the solution. Fort Bend Tutoring. Mr. Witt. Hello, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today's lesson is going to be about subtracting integers. That's right, subtracting integers. That's what's going on. Okay, let's start off this lesson with a geography question. Yeah, a geography question. And that question is, what country is Los Angeles in? Mm-hmm. What country is Los Angeles in? Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that answer is the USA. That's right, United States of America, US up in here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's important because for today's lesson, we'll be using the fact that like signs add and unlike signs subtract, LA and the US. And we'll keep in mind that we want to keep the sign of the largest number, the largest value, the largest digit, okay? So like signs add, unlike signs subtract, and always keep the sign of the largest number. So let's put this into practice, ladies and gentlemen, LA in the US. Let's see how it works out. Well, I'll be sticking with the order of operations as always. That's always going to be your foundation in mathematics to keep that in the forefront, especially when you're dealing with expressions and solving equations. So I want you to know that multiplication and division is also going to be a factor in solving these problems. So you want to know that a positive times a positive is a positive, a negative times a negative is a positive, a positive times a negative is a negative, and a negative times a positive is a negative. And we can go so far as to say that an odd number of negative signs when multiplying and dividing is always negative, and an even number of negative signs is always positive when you're multiplying and dividing consecutive numbers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and move on to the first problem here. Here in problem number one, I have negative three minus five. That's right. A negative sign is the same thing as a subtraction sign when you see it between two terms. If I was looking at this as far as terms are concerned, the first term is going to be negative three. The second term is negative five. So as far as my terms are concerned, I have like signs. So first of all, let's write our answer from left to right. So knowing that my answer is going to be negative because the largest number has a negative sign on it. That means my answer will be negative. I then look to see if I have like signs or unlike signs. Well, once again, this is a negative 3 and a negative 5. So like signs add. So 3 plus 5 gives me 8. So my answer is negative 8. And I have a red box around that answer. Mm-hmm. That's it. Let's look over that again. I have negative 3 negative five. I keep the sign of the largest number, so therefore my answer has to be negative. Because these terms are the same sign, they're like signs. Remember LA in the US? Like signs add. So I'm going to add the three and the five to get eight. Notice how I wrote down my negative sign before I wrote down the answer. Be aware that the sign is just as important as the actual number that you write down. So they're working hand in hand to give you an accurate result. So let's write our answers down from left to right. For a lot of you, you'll need to practice doing that. So please try to write your answers from left to right because that's the way we read it, right? Exactly. In English, you know, you read from left to right. So let's keep that going. So that's problem number one. Let's move on to the next problem. You guys are doing great today. You're doing great. All right. So problem number two, we have six minus a negative three. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier about using the order of operations. We want to tackle the fact that we have parentheses in this problem. And within the parentheses, there's really nothing you can do because you just have negative 3 inside. You can't do anything with that. But anytime you have a value on the outside of a set of parentheses, you multiply. Okay, so this negative in front is the same thing as negative 1. In other words, negative 1 times negative 3 will give me a positive 3. So remember those rules from the beginning of the lesson. A negative times a negative will always combine to give you a positive. So I'm combining the signs. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 plus 3. Mm-hmm. Just like that. So six plus three is gonna be you got it. Nine. The answer is nine. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So we started out with 6 minus negative 3, but since I had two signs right next to one another, we will always multiply those signs together to combine them into 1. So a negative times a negative will give you a positive result, so we rewrite it as 6 plus 3, and 6 plus 3 is always 9. That's it. We're going to move on to the next problem now. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good about this. You're feeling good about this. We're learning. Here in problem number three, we have 4 minus 7. This is a positive 4, and the second term is a negative 7. We always keep the sign of the biggest number. My biggest number here is 7, and that's a negative 7. So that means my answer has to be a negative. So remember writing your answer from left to right. We're going to write down that negative sign first, and then we'll, in this case, subtract because the signs are different. Once again, this is a positive 4, and this is a negative 7. So subtracting the numbers after we verify that our largest number is negative, therefore our answer will be negative, we'll have 7 minus 4, which is 3, so the answer is negative 3. So notice how I compartmentalize my process. I worry about the sign first, and then I determine what the number is. Remember, the sign will always be the sign of the largest number. Always. All right? So keep that in mind. All right, let's continue going. Let's continue going. Yeah. Problem number four here. I have negative four minus negative eight. Negative four minus negative eight. And you know what? I think I want to zoom in a little bit on this. I think about it. There you go. Yeah. Just zoomed in. Okay, problem number four. Negative four minus negative eight. Notice that I have these two signs right next to one another. So I'm going to start by combining these two signs. Remember, when you're combining signs, when they're right next to one another like that, you're going to use your multiplication rules. So a negative times a negative is a what? Very good. A positive. You got it. So I'm going to bring down this negative four plus eight equals to what? After I combine my signs, now I'm noticing that, hey, my largest number is positive, so my answer has to be positive. And because the signs are different, this is a negative 4, this is a positive 8, I'll need to do what operation? That's it. I'll need to subtract. So I have 8 minus 4, which gives me a positive 4. Remember, we determined that our answer had to be positive because that's the sign of the largest number there. Mm -hmm. So we end up with a positive result, and because the signs are different, you subtract 8 minus 4 to get 4. That's it. Moving on to the next problem. Hopefully you're enjoying this, because I am. Hey, here's problem number 5. I have 17 minus negative 12. 17 minus negative 12. And if you see what I see, you notice that these two signs are right next to one another. Remember, anytime you have something on the outside of a set of parentheses, you multiply. The assumed operation is multiplication. So a negative times a negative is a, you got it, a positive. So I'll be rewriting this as 17 plus 12. All right. And 17 plus 12, I hate that 17. I hate the 17, so I'm going to fix it. Okay, I'm fixing the 17 because it was ugly. It sucked, and now it's better. All right, so 17 plus 12 is going to give me a result of 29, and you got it. I'm going to put a red box around that because that's oh, – what? What just happened there? Okay, let me try this red box. There you go. Red box is there now. I'm happy. Okay, so let's move on. Moving on, that was problem number five. Let's go over this one again. We had 17 minus a negative 12. Anytime I have a negative sign on the outside of a set of parentheses, I'm going to combine these signs by using my multiplication rules. So a negative times a negative, it rewrites as a positive. So now the problem becomes 17 plus 12. And you know, 17 plus 12 is 29. Mm -hmm. And that's the answer. All right, let's move on to the next problem. We have problem number six. Here, I have 17 minus 5. Just like in the lesson for adding integers, don't forget what you already know. Don't throw out your good math concepts when you're trying to learn new ones. This should look to you as just exactly what it is. It's 17 minus 5. So there's really not a need for you to try to break this down into positive 17, a negative 5, unlike sign subtract. If you see this as 17 minus 5, that's exactly what it is. So the answer is just going to be 12. But if you wanted to back that up with the rules that we're learning today, you can go ahead and say that my first term is a positive 17. The second term is a negative 5. 
5 and therefore the unlike signs will subtract and I'll be keeping the sign of the largest number which is 17 and that means my answer has to be positive. So keep that in mind when you're subtracting integers or adding integers for that matter that if you see it as a common problem it is. This is just 17 minus 5. So once again you did not have to break this down into positive and negatives but you can if you want to. Alright so the answer is just 12. Alright let's move it on. Moving on, moving on, that's what I'm doing. Problem number eight, I have negative 11 minus four. Negative 11 minus four, mm-hmm, that's what we have here. So, these are like signs. Also, keep in mind that my largest number 11 is negative, so my answer has to be negative. Remember, you're always gonna keep the sign of the largest number in your answer. So, because my largest number is negative, my answer is negative. Then, I have negative 11 minus four, like signs add, so I'll be adding 11 to four to get 15. So the end result of this problem is negative 15. Box around the answer. That's it. Once again, number eight, negative 11 minus four, a minus sign is the same as a negative sign. So these two terms are the same sign. They are like signs. So therefore, like signs add, we're gonna keep the sign of the biggest number, which is 11, and that's negative. And 11 plus four is 15. That's it. All right, keeping it moving. Problem number nine, I have 26 minus 30. 26 minus 30, so I have unlike signs because that's a positive 26. This is a negative 30, and you're gonna keep the sign of the largest number. So the sign of the largest number, it happens to be negative, remember, a minus sign is a negative sign. So that 30 is negative, therefore the answer needs to be negative. And because these signs are different, I need to subtract. So 30 minus 26 is four. I already have my negative sign waiting on me because I remembered to write the sign first. Remember, write your answers from left to right. Since the sign comes first coming from the left, write that down first. That's very important, ladies and gentlemen, and it also will increase your accuracy when you're working out your problems to write down your answers from left to right. Write down each step from left to right. All right? I suggest that strongly. See? Strongly. Um, these are my fists clenching together. Stressing that. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. That's number nine. Let's keep it going. Problem number 10, we have negative 5 minus 13. Ladies and gentlemen, the first term is negative 5. The second term is negative 13. And because they are like signs, we'll be adding or will we be subtracting? Yeah, we'll be adding, like signs add. Mm -hmm. Like signs add. And you're going to be keeping the sign of the largest number. So if the largest number is negative, so I'm going to write down my negative sign here. There it is. And adding these numbers together, 5 plus 13, that gives me 18. So my answer is negative 18. And there it is. All right. That was problem number 10. We had like signs, like signs add. We kept the sign of the largest number, 13. And so we ended up with a negative. Adding 5 plus 13 gave us 18. And there is the result there. This is going to complete our lesson for today, which is subtracting integers. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to get in on our intros and outros, please send those audio or video files to fbt at tutormemath.net. Go ahead and like us on Facebook at Fort Bend Tutoring. And Mr. Witt is done for this lesson. Peace. You now rockin' with the best. Fort being tutoring, 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 t